What if I were to tell you that we have some pretty strong evidence, some empirical data that is suggesting that the Nintendo Switch 2 has a massive improvement to it over the Nintendo Switch. Uh, th this sounds almost too good to be true, and I can understand that because, again, this is kind of a theory, uh, just one that has a ton of evidence, but there's reasons for us to believe this, and it really has to do with something that was happening with the Nintendo Switch all the way back in 2015 and 2016 before the system came out that ended up telling us something about the system in hindsight. That's right. We have some data from back then that turned out was 100% true about Nintendo's Switch, as we found out after the system came out, and now we have very similar data today for the Nintendo Switch 2. And it includes some exciting developments, especially given one of the main problems that we've been dealing with the Nintendo Switch all throughout the generation. Now, before we dive in, I just want to remind you we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and maybe go down below and let me know if you're excited about what is happening here, assuming that this is true. Now, what are we talking about? Well, before we talk about this, we got to note one big issue the Nintendo Switch has had throughout the generation. There's been lawsuits filed over it. Nintendo has been forced to comment on it. It's been happening in multiple countries and multiple manufacturing runs. It didn't matter if it was the original Switch or the Switch OLED or the Switch Lite or the version 2 Switch. Of course, we're talking about Joy-Con drift. It's been a massive problem where the control sticks after just normal use, sometimes even abnormal use, in fact, sometimes just right out of the box, which if it's right out of the box, you obviously should get your warranty claim in. Also, uh, it's been so rampant with the drifting issues with the sticks that a lot of countries, including right here in North America, in the United States, you can even get your Joy-Cons fixed well out of warranty. They can be four years, five years old, and they will fix your Joy-Cons for free. I say relative for free, there's still shipping costs associated, but you kind of get my deal. Nintendo recognizes this is a big issue because they're fixing it. It is almost like a fatal design flaw, although Nintendo has won a lawsuit that tried to argue it was a fatal design flaw. That being said, uh, we need to dive into this because because we have some new patents and these patents aren't from Nintendo. That's the key thing. They're actually from a manufacturing partners of them that make the actual sticks inside the Joy-Con. And these patents are very important to understand because these are brand new. These give us exact details for the potential joystick in Nintendo Switch 2. But first, before we tell you and show you those patents, we want to prove to you why we need to pay attention to it. So first, we have this patent over on the Whippo website. This was filed all the way back in 2015, and this was filed not by Nintendo, but by the Hoseidon Corp. Now, Nintendo ended up joining the application later, so they became an official co-applicant, but this Hoseidon Corp is something to pay attention to, because if you look at all of this stuff, uh, you'll see that this is all about a directional, a multi-directional input device uh, and all that, and we actually have a second patent tied to this right here, another one that was in 2016. You can see again as you scroll down, again, Hoseidon Corporation, and this was essentially for the Joy-Con uh, control stick as we know it today. You can, you can see it in all these images. This is what's currently in the Nintendo Switch. If you've ever broken down or like taken apart a uh, Joy-Con control stick, you would see that this is, this is very, very similar uh, to what the final design was. A couple of minor tweaks, but for the most part, this is pretty much identical to the same Joy-Cons we have today and how their control stick functions. So that's pretty cool and that's pretty interesting. So this Hoseidon Corp is somebody that we need to pay attention to because they are who Nintendo has been using to manufacture their control sticks because they have filed some new patents, not Nintendo ones. They're filed by the Hoseidon Corp. Nintendo would obviously join this later. The device hasn't even been fully announced or revealed yet. And we get over to a bunch of patents actually. There's a slew of them. And the first one that we're going to look at here is this one uh, right here. This was obviously scrolled down, filed by the Hoseidon Corporation again. Um, it was, uh, you know, for publication, all the way, it was filed in 2022, published in 2023, and then they were granted it in, uh, you know, 2024 here back on March 12th. Uh, but you'll see here that we see a design for the joystick. Now, 
And we're gonna go through a bunch of these patents throughout this video, but the biggest thing to note about these patents and, and how they're different, because uh, they're for a low profile uh, control stick yet again, which is exactly uh, what Nintendo uh, it would be using in their device. The reason we need to pay attention to this stuff is because these are actually magnet control sticks. So you know the hall sensing control sticks we've been talking about from third party companies like Ghoulie Kit? Well, that's what these are. These are magnet control sticks, including the ability to click them in. That's all registered through magnets. Now, again, this is a very, very, very big development because this heavily suggests, assuming Nintendo is using this company and this design is for them, that Nintendo is indeed uh, going to be using their own version of hall sensing control sticks in the Nintendo Switch 2. Now, again, as I mentioned, there's multiple patents on this stuff. Uh, we have another one here that was in 2022, uh, published in 2023 and granted at the end of 2023. Very similar. All these patents are very, very similar, uh, showing off very similar things, just showing off the control stick in a couple different formats in, in various forms of its development. Uh, but all of them have the same thing in common, and the same thing they have in common is that they are magnets now this to me is some of the biggest development we've had for nintendo switch 2 because look as much as we the 12 gigabytes of ram are exciting and all this i love a good just powerful product and that's assuming that's what we get what doesn't make a lot of sense though is if they continue to have this issue with joy con drift how were they going to uh, address it for their new system or is it just going to be something we're going to deal with for another generation well it appears like we are we can see here that Nintendo and the Societing Company have solved that problem uh, with obviously a well-known and well-used technology today by third-party companies, but not even PlayStation or Xbox are using hall sensing uh, control sticks officially. Uh, it would be nice to see them move over to it as well, although they have less of an issue uh, with drift. They still have an issue. I, I get drift all the time, especially with my Xbox controllers. I've had it happen with a PlayStation 5 controller, but only one. But admittedly, I probably play my PlayStation 5 less than my other systems. So it could be that it really has the same drift issues as the Xbox controller. I just have to use it more. But I just find it very fascinating because honestly, we have like four or five, six different uh, patents here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six different patents um, all related to this, all showing... Um, I'll show you slight variations on all of this. And I, I, I'll link all the patents down below. You can go double check all this information for yourself. Uh, they're all by this Hoseidon company that works with Nintendo. And as we showed you at the beginning, the Hoseidon company worked with Nintendo on the original uh, joystick for the Joy-Cons. I find this really fascinating to pay attention to. I, I need to make sure that I give some credit because I'm not the one that initially uh, found all of this stuff. Of course, I like to give credit to where things were found, even though, you know, the, the obviously the patents are the real source here. Uh, FWB slash BWD, uh, one of the founders and admins over at Fami Boards put a, a post up. I will link to that thread if you guys want to go check it out for yourself. Uh, you'll get more information from the patents themselves, but they obviously have an ongoing conversation about it uh, this to me is, is just very very notable like when we got the 12 gigabytes of ram from the shipping documents earlier this year that was really exciting this is like that next exciting development we're starting to get an idea of what this system is you know with 12 gigabytes of ram the, the t239 chip the eight inch screen uh now we're talking about the control sticks actually being a massive improvement from the nintendo switch that is a big deal this is a massive deal because of how big the issue was on Switch. That they're actually fixing this in the next product. This was always my biggest hope, my biggest dream heading into the next system is fixing inherent issues the Nintendo Switch has had its whole generation. Maybe this also means we're going to end up getting more ergonomic controllers. Maybe we'll get an option to have a D-pad for those that wanted it. Maybe we'll end up getting... I don't want to push my life too far, but analog triggers, I know that that might be pushing down. Everyone thinks digital uh, triggers is a problem, but most people can agree that analog is better, especially for racing games and stuff like that. So I'm just throwing this out there as, man, this is pretty cool. Uh, it seems highly likely. Uh, I always felt like if Nintendo was ever going to fully redesign the actual control stick and fix the problem, it would always come on their next generation device. 
And now we have direct evidence from one of Nintendo's uh, manufacturing and parts providers that, yeah, uh, it's probably fixed because not even they seem to be wanting to make those crappy ones moving forward. They seem to be wanting to be making these hall sensing magnetized ones. So, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Is this a really good development uh, or are you just like, eh, whatever? Let me know down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video.